Hey guys, Wayne Jennings here, out in the woods on a camping trip, enjoying a cup of fresh brewed coffee, which I made with this new little device I just purchased. This is the AeroPress Go. Packed inside this little box, you'll find everything you need to prepare a fresh cup of coffee in about a minute. All the items you see here are included. You get a large 14 ounce mug with a snap on lid that also doubles as a storage container for the whole system. There is a measuring spoon and a folding stir stick. There's a two piece coffee press consisting of a cylinder and a plunger and a filter cap for the end. You get a box containing 350 micro filters and a filter holder. And of course, there is an instruction booklet. With everything stored in the carry mug, the unit measures five and a quarter inches tall, that's 13.5 centimeters, with a diameter of three and three quarters of an inch, that's about 9.5 centimeters. And it weighs in at just 11.5 ounces. That's about 320 grams. Brewing coffee with the AeroPress Go is a pretty simple operation. A nice thing about it is everything is self-contained uh, in this little package here. So we'll just open it up and start making some coffee. There's your little filter package inside there. Just set that aside. Um, basically, it's uh, this becomes the cup. You get a little measuring spoon and a little stirring stick with it here. And this is the plunger mechanism. So you just got to push that through to open it up. So basically you just take this bottom meshed piece, that's where the coffee grinds will get pushed through. And you need one of these little paper filters. So you just put that on like so. Then that attaches to the bottom of this tube, the one with the flange on the end. And it's just kind of a quarter turn bayonet mount, really simple. So what we'll be doing is we'll be putting coffee in there, squeezing it through into the cup. So basically you can use any coffee you want, some specialty flavored coffee or whatever. So they give you this scoop, which is basically what they recommend. One level scoop there, put it in like so. And uh, you add water. There's these markers on here. One, two, three, four. And basically this is designed basically to make a strong espresso coffee. So you put it at the number one, that's about uh, two ounces. That'll make very strong coffee. So you get your pot of water, which you've already heated up on the stove. And you fill it up to just above the one there. Then you're gonna put this plunger in and push it through. So let's just add some water here. Like so. Then you get this little stirring stick and they suggest you mix it up for about 10 seconds there. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just to get it all mixed up with water. Then you take your plunger, put it in like so, and slowly push down. And as you push, it forces the water and the coffee through that filter, and it ends up in that uh, mug below. Now it comes with this mug but of course you can use any mug that that will fit over top nothing wrong with that so when you're done you get uh about two ounces of very strong espresso coffee and if that's the way you like it great but if you want like traditional you know americano style coffee what they suggest is you then add up to eight ounces of water to this because like i say that is very strong and now we have just a regular kind of eight ounce regular coffee. So you're all set to go. <sighs> Tastes great. So when you're all done brewing your coffee, cleanup is really simple. I mean, all there is is some coffee grounds and the filter. And all you do is take the end off here and then you just push the plunger and they pop out. I usually just dispose of them in something like a fire grate or I'm gonna have a fire later that night and that'll help uh, break them down. So you just kind of push the plunger and out it comes. Now, 
it's basically, like I say, just coffee grounds and a piece of filter paper. There's no plastic or metal or anything like that in there. So it's, you know, a little more friendlier to the environment than some things. So if you don't you know, have a fire pit, you can certainly dig a hole and bury it. But uh, basically, that's all there is to it. Just rinse it with water and you're ready to go the next time. The only, the only gripe I have with this whole thing is these little filters. Uh, the filters themselves are fine. You get like 350 of them when you uh, buy the unit, so that's going to last you a long time. However, the little filter holder that comes with it is uh, a little flimsy. It doesn't stay closed. I, it'll hold maybe two dozen of these paper filters, but it kept popping open, so I had to put a little piece of tape on there to keep it secure. Other than that, I am really pleased with this AeroPress Go coffee maker.